uh, in this video I would like to present an app which is the booking app and here is the register page all of the information will validation by the system for example if the username is empty value then the system will show out that as error and same as the email if the email of the format is invalid the system will show out that is invalid format and the user can enter their phone number and select agenda so for the password if the password length is less than six character the system will show there's two short password also same as the compound password if it is not matching as the password the system will show out the error after all information is collected only the system will register an account and the login page the user can enter the email and the password just now they are create if there is collect then the system will allow user to log in and more than that uh, there is a forget password on here which allow the user to enter the email and the system will show the send the reset password link to the, this email in case if the user forget their password yeah so the email has been sent so here is the email that I the enter the email that I enter so the reset password link will send to here in this page the user can enter the new password and after save it the system will update the new password after that in this page the user can enter the new password just now they set up if they are using the old password the system will not allow them to log in yeah that's invalid password only they are using the new password the system will allow the login so here is the main page of the booking app which will show the image and the information of the permitter code and here is the profile the name and the phone number email will show up at here and the history since there are no any history uh, has been add booked by the, this user so there is no history data so for the main page there has two floating button on here one, the one is the calendar the calendar only show the next two two weeks which mean 14th day allow the user to choose for example I choose 4 of the December and this is the badminton hall they can select it by the user there is 6 total badminton hall for example if I choose badminton hall 1 and here is the time that I can book by the user the grey means that is available that yeah, they will show information in here for example I book this 3 time and after I book successful, they will change to a blue icon which is the on booking which means they are successfully booked by this user for this 3 time and I also can select the other date by 5 of the December for example and I select the Milton Hall 3 yeah, here is also the available time for can book after I book successfully and I can go to the history to check the history that I book so the most latest history will show, always show on the top and here is the okay selected by choosing they want to see all history or the specific date for the history record and the latest record will always show on the top and more than that the second button is the google map the google map will show the medical location and the user can zoom in to see the detail or whether they can choose to open the google map and enter the current location of the user for example I enter the summer carnival and the google map automatic calculate the most shorted route and display to the user and if I use the other account of the user to log in and when I go to check for the calendar yeah here is the now the user book the three time that already booked so I are showing the red icon then this user cannot book anymore for this time they only can book for the other time yeah then that's all is for my video thanks for your watching